Hello, Gemini, and welcome to your July 2019 mid-month reading. Um, I wanted to let you guys know that I have started an Instagram account, and you can find that at Secret Tarot 1111. There was somebody, I found out this morning that there was um, a, a main one, but impersonators on Instagram in regards to me, so I thought, well, let's just nip that in the bud and make a real one. So the real one is Secret Tarot 1111, and I will put that in the description box of the video, okay? And uh, for those of you who want to follow me on Instagram, you are more than welcome to do so. I would greatly appreciate it. Gemini, when I sat down to do your reading, it started absolutely pouring the rain. I don't know if you can hear that or not, but it's literally beating on my window. So, what in the hell is going on, Gemini? This is for Gemini for July 2019. What is going on with Gemini? For their mid-month reading, this is for Gemini. If this resonates with you, Gemini, please like, share, and subscribe. And leave me a comment. Make sure you hit the thumbs up button for me. I would greatly appreciate it. If this doesn't resonate with you at all, Gemini, please do check your moon, your rising, and your Venus sign, as this will not resonate with every Gemini out there. Please keep in mind that some of the energies are vice versa or interchangeable, so however, it resonates with you. This is for Gemini for July 2019. What is going on? with Gemini. What is going on with Gemini? What is going on with Gemini? Okay. So you're, somebody's holding on tight, whether it's you or the other person. Ooh, there you go. All right. I feel like it could be the other person trying to control the situation. Okay, you are trying to move towards your happiness here. Okay, you're trying to close a chapter with somebody here and they are holding on so tight, but you're ready to drop it. Okay, you are ready to drop it. So this could be um, the parent of your child that's trying to control a situation, trying to act as a, like a block uh, for you to move on to your happiness. This could be a father figure, somebody older than you, like a boss type figure here. Gemini, I think you are seeing your worth here with this queen of pentacles peeking right behind there. Let's see what's behind that. You are very defensive. Um, you're very focused on yourself um, and those around you that need taken care of. That's the uh, energy of the Queen of Pentacles, very goal focused, very uh, career minded, and you're just kind of moving on. You've realized your worth. So that's the Queen of Pentacles, right? So that is um, Earth energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. So is this right here, but we'll get to that in a minute. I feel like you're trying to block this person. Um, maybe you have blocked them on social media or whatnot. Seven of Wands, but they're still trying to fight for the connection with you. This is Fire Energy, Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. So you're standing your ground for sure. You're standing your ground, okay? You have a shield up against your heart. You're very protective of yourself right now. But they are having a hard time letting go of the situation. And they are trying to control the situation here. Four of uh, Pentacles, this is Earth energy, more Earth energy here. So I'm going to read the energies of the cards. If the sign of the person that you are dealing with or have dealt with or will be dealing with in the future, right? Time is fluid. If their sign pops up, Gemini, then all the better. Um, keep in mind the energies can be vice versa or interchangeable here. Yeah, <clears throat> so they may be coming in with some sort of offer here, but you are completely and totally against it. You're standing your ground, very focused on you. Queen of Pentacles, right? That's Earth. This is Earth here, very grounded energy. So you have grounded yourself, and you are standing your ground. So you know what you want, and you're not budging, okay? You are not budging. So... 
Yeah, let's see where this is going here. Because they're having a hard time letting go of you, Gemini. Right? You, it's becoming overwhelming, this person's behavior towards you. You've been ready to drop it for a very long time. Ten of wands here. This is fire, Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. Tens are endings, okay? Um, you want to start, this is the way I'm looking at it. Okay, I just... I know I'm kind of jumping ahead here, but this is you ending a chapter to start a new chapter where your happiness is, right? With every ending, there's a new beginning. Yes, tens are endings, but it's an ending to the burden, to the exhaustion, to the headache, right? Um, so I'm seeing you're very tired with this situation. It's weighing you down. It's a big weight on your shoulders here, Gemini. But this other person that is controlling, trying to control the situation, whether that is like the father of your children, um, like a uh, boss type energy, you know, like I was saying before, somebody possibly older than you, or simply an Aries, okay? They're trying to control you moving forward. They're trying to control you... Um, leaving yeah, they're trying to control the ending of the situation they're trying to stop any new chapters for you and it's a bunch of bs and you're tired of it okay you're tired of it gemini so um they're just having a hard time letting go that i mean that's all it boils down to the challenge is this the emperor just like i was saying this is a very protective and loyal energy but very controlling um possibly older than you okay could be father figure could be boss could be you know baby daddy kind of energy or simply an aries male or female this this person is acting as a block to stop you from starting a new chapter in your life plain and simple so your advice is go king of swords on them. All right. So this is most definitely your energy. Cut them off. Go cold. Go distant on them. Don't entertain anything to do with this person that is trying to control you and keep you from your happiness. King of swords is a stone cold, hardcore um, SOB. <laughs> right? Male or female absolutely does not matter. Um, he gets the clarity that he needs. Very intelligent individual. Um, this person could work in um, IT. could be doctor, lawyer type energy, right? But the point, the energy of this individual is they use their head and not their heart. Their heart, their emotions are so far on the back burner, it's not even funny. And I feel like the advice with this person is to go ice cold. Do not entertain this person. Cut them off completely. This is a very different energy for you, um, Gemini. But um, that is the advice here. Okay. Um, you need to speak very direct and clear to this person that is trying to block you from your happiness. You gotta stand your ground here. You gotta let them know, right? Because you're focused on this. You're focused on a Ten of Cups kind of commitment. Maybe you've already got somebody in mind, or maybe you just want to go towards that happiness. Happy. Uh, this is one of the happiest cards of the tarot deck. This is a happy partnership, happy children, happy home, all that kind of stuff, right? Um, so this is good. This is what you're focused on. You, this is what you want. This is the goal. And maybe you're already there, but somebody keeps trying to um, butt in, right? Tr keeps trying to control. So Ten of Cups, this is Water Energy, Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. What's going to happen here is you're going to get... You're going to get closure to the situation, and you're going to give closure to the situation. You will... You will in this chapter, and you will start a new chapter in your life. Okay, Gemini? This is going to be a whole new chapter. We just got to let this go. You got to get, you got to get tough. You got to get tough. 
So I don't know who this is messing with you, but they are acting up, okay? Someone is acting up. All right, so very different reading for you, Gemini. So it could be a little specific, you know, specific towards somebody that needs to hear it. You know what I'm saying? So whoever this is for, we'll say some prayers for them. All right, you know, it's not going to resonate with everyone. And I know I say that at the beginning, but I just want to reiterate that. Maybe somebody out there needs to hear it. Please clarify this world card for Gemini for July 2019. Please clarify. Hear this message. That's what I mean. Please clarify this world card for Gemini for July 2019 for their mid-month reading. Yeah, stepping into your power here is what this is all about. Queen of Wands, this is Fire Energy, Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. Taking your power back, getting your groove back, starting those new chapters in your life, not letting anyone interfere with what you want and what you want to go for. Um, this is very creative energy, very passionate energy. But sometimes with this queen, male or female, her, her self-esteem takes a hit. Her um, confidence takes a hit, but you're getting that back, and you're getting your groove back, and you're stepping back into your power here, Gemini. So good for you. Um, strength card, right? So, yeah, you're getting your power back. You're going to be very strong and courageous through this whole situation. All right? So, Leo energy here. You've got this. You've got this. So you have to be very strong and very determined, right? Very strong and very determined in this situation with this individual right here. Whoever's trying to control you and keep you from your complete happiness, Gemini. It's, it, I just don't think it's going to work anymore. You're, you're closing chapters. You're getting your power back. You have the courage and strength enough to move forward. And, you know, you're getting ready to, to cut people out right? You have to let go of this so that you can find your happiness here, Gemini. All right, let's pull some romance angels cards. What are you going towards? What is Gemini going towards here? This is for Gemini for July 2019 for their mid-month reading. What is going on here? for Gemini for July 2019 for their mid-month reading. What is going on here with Gemini? What is going on here with Gemini? Yeah, we have chemistry. There's a strong magnetic attraction here. So to me, this is speaking of, yeah, I mean, this person is still very much attracted to you and they're having a hard time letting go because the chemistry is so strong. They feel this magnetic pull towards you. It's like they don't want anyone else to have you. They don't want you to move forward, Gemini. That's the thing, okay? So trust this process. The situation is calling for you to have faith. Gemini, you got to be strong. you got to trust this process here. Um, have faith in this process. Have faith that everything is going to work out here. I... I can almost tell you that trust issues maybe, you know, caused a lot of the problems here with this person, but they're just having a hard time letting you go because of the chemistry, the pull towards you is so strong and they are acting up. They, they're just, they're out of their minds right now. I feel like obsession. Do you know what I mean? So trust, I, I don't think it's here with this person, but you need to trust the process, trust and have faith that you can do this. Trust and have faith that you can get your power back and you can move on to new chapters and your happiness here, Gemini. Okay. All right. So, Gemini, very good reading, very interesting reading, very different from you. Like I said, it's not going to re uh, resonate with everyone out there, but we will pray for the ones that it does resonate with. Okay. So, like I said before, somebody out there needs to hear it. So, Gemini, I feel like things are going to take a turn once you just, you, you may have to cut this person off completely. If that's possible, you're going to have to stand your ground and speak 
very sharply to this individual and you're going to get your power back and you're going to get your happiness okay all right gemini that's what's going on for your july 2019 mid-month reading um let's see um again i'm going to say that i started an instagram account you can find me at secret tarot 11 11 in case you missed it at the beginning and I will put that down in the description box of the video also um, in the description box of each video and then of course in my about section as well um, I have put up a little bit of a schedule which I have changed this week um, tweaked it a little bit so that more notifications can be sent out I think there's from what I can tell like a specific number of notifications usually I they will only give me three notifications a day which you know sometimes I'll do a live and then put out four maybe even five videos and you know that's a lot of um, content that's you guys aren't being notified about you know so I decided to spread it out a little bit and maybe more notifications people will get notified more um, so <clears throat> you can find a schedule of your weekly reading there and then you can also find a schedule of the live shows there which you know I go live almost nearly every day except for Saturday um, and then that's usually around noon Eastern Standard Time here in the US Gemini you take very good care of yourself next week I'll be working on the future love readings for July 2019 so check all of that out um, you have a great night, and you take very good care of yourself, and God bless.